。OK， 好咁。誒頭先咧咁多位嘉賓咧，其實都講出好多誒好、呃、有用嘅資訊啦嚇，無論係喺診斷或者係喺呢個治療嘅方法。咁啊，睇下各位觀眾應該都有好多問題想問我哋嘅嘉賓嘅，咁可以隨便發問嘅。咁我會誒第、呃、前排有會第個麥上嚟，後排咧就麻煩可能要講大聲少少啦嚇。咁請問有邊位有問題想問咧？大家。趁呢個機會，<笑>我哋咁多位咁專業嘅嘉賓喺度，係。係誒，我、啊、初步聽咗幾位講誒嘅發表嗰、那個誒、啊、有關自閉症嘅特徵，但我想提到一樣，除咗自閉 related 做弱智之外，有一種情況係嗰人極度聰明。或者極度有才能，佢唔坐，或者佢自閉嘅情況咧，係佢覺得佢唔想坐我哋，佢睇唔起我哋，佢甚至睇唔起父母，睇唔起個學校，佢覺得教師教嘢太慢啦，佢唔想跟。咁如果係，如果人比較有暴力傾向咧，佢會做啲反叛嘅行為，譬如走咗佢啦嚇。但係佢又唔係嗰種情況，佢比較，於是佢選咗方法咧，就唔坐我哋。咁誒呢種情況佢唔係弱智嘅，但係佢係可能係高傲或者自我中心，但係佢有極度有才能嘅。咁如果係呢一樣嘢喺外表或者其他方面，可唔可以區分到，或者點樣先至唔會有誤會發生咧？係，都係一個好好難答嘅問題啊！咁有冇邊位嘉賓會有意見？好，多謝曬。講緊你頭先講嗰樣嘢咧，其實我而家講自閉症嘅確診咧，如果跟 DSM-5 criteria 或者用嗰個確診工具，都係睇緊佢嘅質素、社交同埋溝通方面質素。頭先先生講咧，其實好要睇呢位人士咧，其實你講緊佢嗰種高傲誒，同、嗯、人哋嗰個合作性或者係互動性相對低，其實要睇下佢有冇個動機或者有冇意欲去同人建立關係啦。佢嗰、那個。互動性其實佢如果你講得咁自我中心，即係其實質素要配合其他人係企喺人哋嘅角度明白人哋點解唔明佢。其實誒、嗯、高功能個智力好高，同佢係唔係誒有自閉症或者自閉症特質其實未必有關係嘅。我哋見到自閉症嗰係入邊有，亦都有啲人係相當高嘅智能或者某啲特異功能啦，叫做，亦都有啲係能力比較弱嘅。咁所以其實係冇關係呢樣嘢，我哋就唔好話。用咗佢智能好高呢樣嘢嚟解釋，所以佢同人關係差唔一定。其實我見到好多資優小朋友佢哋社交係好好嘅，啊咁所以社交溝通係自閉症確診嘅特色入面最最重要嘅精準咯。咁頭先你講我哋要睇翻，如果佢已經係細個，其實可以問翻啲細個嘅資料嘅。我成日講大個咧，已經係受環境影響，仲有啲好多後遺症。頭先我講嗰啲後遺症、精神上後遺症，佢係咪已經係？好多焦慮同社交焦慮啊，或者係佢係咪抑鬱啊？點解佢唔中意同人溝通？但係可以問翻一啲細個少少，好 clean 嘅 history。佢細個嘅時候有冇人單身？之中有冇朋友㗎？誒、嗯、有冇互動㗎？咁呢啲其實可以幫到你。亦都頭先你講嗰樣誒例子，一個大個咧，其實大人係咪咁嘅？定係小朋友？嗯、哦，九六七歲。哦，六七歲其實唔係好大個啫，其實都可以睇翻其他方面，譬如溝通，佢會唔會有一啲精準係特質上，譬如啊有一啲誒 equality 啊，或者係誒講嘢時後世嗰啲有冇我同你調轉啊，或者係講嘢如果六七歲係智力好高嘅，佢哋有時講嘢過分書面語啊，或者係過分講自己嘅有興趣嘅題目，其他人冇興趣佢仲繼續講啊。其實點點滴滴咧有好多特質，唔係誒，亦都再同大家講翻，就係自閉症唔係咁簡單，淨係佢高傲佢唔採人就自閉症。其實一定要三方面，社交溝通，而家叫兩方面，社交溝通混合咗一齊㗎，一定要社交溝通同埋行為都有一定嘅特色咧，先至可以確診自閉症或者自閉症高係嘅，唔係淨係一樣嘢佢社交唔好咁。其實好似你講你講到啱，係好多其他原因㗎嘛。咁所以我哋一定要詳細去睇係咪社交溝通有障礙，加埋佢行為有特色咁樣，可能係咁樣。嗱、呃，自閉症就嗰、那個嗰、那個
，智商啦，即係由好高至到即係相當低，即係即係所以比起一般人根本佢哋闊好多咯。咁你要一，二咧就係、是、誒、呃、你正話講一個自閉症嘅細佬哥啊，好叻啦咁。咁誒、呃、自閉症誒、呃，即係佢高 I Q 啊，我想講，如果高 I Q 其實嘅細佬哥裏頭咧，即係。好可能有一扎咧係 underachievers， 即係高 IQ 但係唔成功嘅，即係亦都好可能即係學你正話講係，即係佢對即係先生啊、家長啊，即係即係我你講嘅嘢我識曬。咁令我記得起即係有個 sixty minutes 相當之耐，我我睇過，就係、是、講美國最最叻嘅人，即係 IQ 即係。爆爆燈啊！爆曬！咁佢係佢係一個誒、呃、巴嘅班薩。我你有冇睇過圖？嗰、哦、我我我我我我好好記得，因為我我好有心機睇。咁佢就話：我誒人哋問佢即係點解你做呢份工？咁佢話：誒我做乜我都發達，不過我唔想發達，因為我咁叻，我做乜都發達。我想係做呢份工，等我可以。做我想做嘅嘢，咁佢想做咩咧？我而家寫緊本書，關於誒、呃、宇宙天文嘅嘅嘅嘅乜乜理論咁樣，即係講出嚟我都唔識嘅。咁即係我我想講嗰種重點咧、就是，就係即係誒，如果你即係唔好講美國，翻翻嚟香港先啊，係係呢度啊重要。其實我哋有等幾多嘅資源？認識或者老師嘅訓練喺喺 gift 嗰度咧，我話俾你聽，簡直係幾乎係羞恥。一九九五年，冇人問我：，喂，我哋香港有乜嘢資優嘅服務啊？佢問我：，我話有啊，我哋等於零啊。因為九七年有個 conference 係係講 gift， 但係香港零服務。咁九五年其實佢哋而家唔係好耐，但係即係即係我我想講嘅就係、是，即係如果我哋要訓練啲叻嘅人，總唔能夠揾個沙展訓練個將軍，你一定揾揾將軍訓練將軍，你你一定要有有啲叻嘅嘢訓練，即係起碼政策上啊，起碼技巧上，起碼起碼嗰、那個誒誒誒 curriculum 方面啊，即係我哋有冇咧？咁我話俾你聽，有，但係即係未係到咁理想咯。我想補充少少嘅係，可能你睇睇翻我哋學校，如果會接觸到一個學生係誒，首、呃、先你所講嘅 example 咁，關於啲行為係佢好自我啊，或者係佢對於啲 authority figures 或者係家長誒、呃、而比較唔係好聽從嘅，咁我哋會睇翻一樣嘢係第一嗰、那個。佢個 diagnosis 係乜嘢？咁我可以對症啦。咁但係最緊要樣嘢係個底線，我哋嘅 expectation 對呢個小朋友係點樣咯？咁如果你講緊話同輩嘅小朋友係應該可以喺一個群體裏面，喺學校裏面而聽從老師嘅，咁喺我哋工作方面，我哋會做。呢方面嘅嘢係令到佢點去聽翻個老師去跟翻個規則。我知道可能佢係好 gifted 喺度啲 areas， 咁有啲乜培訓呢樣嘢。咁但係喺正常喺班房裏面嘅，有啲人係唔同嘅 talent， 但係你始終呢啲有人去跟到佢，可以幫到佢。咁亦都個緊要樣嘢就係睇翻呢樣嘢點影響佢嘅社交，點樣影響佢嘅溝通，點樣影響佢嘅行為，而對於喺個羣體裏面，我覺得亦都要睇埋呢方面。I、uh, saw some cases like that. They are very gifted and talented, and they refuse to communicate with the outside. Refuse to communicate with the,、uh, the, the, the parents, the teachers, the tutors. Not because of they are retarded. Not because they are、uh, can't follow the things. In con in contradiction, they are too talented. They seem to be anti the anti the system. And they have.、Uh, they think they they are too quick. They they think they know know everything. They just they just okay. Well, so they refuse to communicate. We in, in our office in Los Angeles, we probably specialize in high children that are high functioning.、Um, and and just let me give some quick reflections of that. 
first of all, I find high functioning much more difficult to treat than um, lower functioning children with autism. It's much more, social nuances are much more difficult to teach. So it's actually a more difficult population to teach than, than your typical child with autism. First of all, obviously autism is on a spectrum. So you get the full range from high to low. But these days when people say high, high function, I'm not sure what that means. Just like I said, evidence-based, I don't know what that means. Because I get a lot of reports, I'd say 75% of the reports I get from diagnosticians says high functioning. And I'm not sure what they mean by that. Because it's not by, by my um, view, observation, it's not, they're not high functioning. High function to me is a child that has tremendous social interest, but they just don't have all the social skills. High function to me means they have very good language, but there's some slight deficit in their language. And high functioning usually means their self-stimulatory behaviors are much more obsessional kinds of behaviors. That's what I consider high functioning. I see lots of kids that don't have language and they're labeled high functioning. That doesn't necessarily mean it. Um, when I hear gifted, I always wonder, are they really gifted in comparison to typically developing children? Because sometimes I hear that kids are gifted and they might be smart, but they're not any more, they're not really different than typically developing children. I think those in the profession can sort of lose what typically developing children are and what they are capable of doing. So I think we need to be careful about that. We used to talk about, they used to be called idiot, uh, idiot savant long ago. Um, it dates me when I started, and that turned to autistic savant, and now islands of intelligence. It's pretty rare. I see probably 3,000 cases a year, and I probably see one a year that has really that kind of gifted kind of skill level. So I, I just don't see it very much. Um, but what you're describing is autism. And so you've got the full range of, of language deficits. They're not willing to speak. They might have a language, but they don't have that sort of social communication. And remember, the DSM-5 has changed. So it's, language is not a major component. Social communication is, is, is it. And unfortunately, I tell you, Asperger's dropped out of it, which I think was a tragedy, because I think Asperger's is really a separate diagnosis. Uh, but it was dropped. And so when you're talking about high functioning, high IQ, that's the way Asperger's typically. Um, I know our kids that are high functioning, you saw someone on film, their IQs are not in the high range whatsoever because IQs are really a hard measure for our kids. Um, it's not until they're in treatment that you, they're really testable. So I'm not sure that answered the question exactly, but it's just my reflections on, on high function. I want to ask you about ASD, because there are four deficits, like social deficits, like communication. There are some more research on, um, say, social thinking, um, say, peers program, more targeted towards social behaviors training. I want to ask more about that. Well, social thinking is one of those things that's out there with no research behind it whatsoever. Sounds good, um, but there's no research looking at really that shows it to be effective. It's like social stories, there's nothing out there that shows that doesn't show it to be effective. I mean, ABA, we, if you're good doing high quality, we deal with social issues. You saw the film I showed about a social club. Um, those are kids within you know, two months got really connected socially because that's one of the things we target. So we look at it, every child is unique. We look at their social deficits. What, you know, what are their main deficits? That's what we start targeting. Is it peer interest is the problem? Is it reciprocity? Is it uh, perspective taking from very low levels to high levels? And we actually have a book out there called Social so Crafting Connections, which is all based upon, upon dealing with social issues. So our experience is that kids absolutely have social interests typically. They just don't know what, how, to, how to do it. And we have to teach them those social skills and meaningful friendships then come from it. But it takes time. It's a process. And one thing we can do, you know, when all of a sudden done, we can help our children, our adolescents, our adults develop meaningful friendships. That's probably one, one thing we can absolutely accomplish. Whether we can fully develop their communication is, is, is not necessarily always true. But whether a child's low functioning or high functioning adult, they can absolutely have some meaningful friendships. But it takes, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes expertise. It's absolutely, to me, the most critical thing we do because it's a quality of life issue. If you look at the research on, on adults with autism, the depression rate is astronomical, especially among high functioning. 
and the suicide rate is alarmingly high. And when all is said and done, it comes back to lack of meaningful connections. And that's something we need to actually work on. And unfortunately, there's a lot of things out there that you hear about that are not evidence-based and really don't result in meaningful friendships. And things like social thinking, social stories are just two examples of that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay.